Right, Liberal MP Nicole Flinch, she's a good friend of mine, I'll declare that up front, well, she's fired back at the ABC accusing Annabelle Crabbe's new documentary series about women in politics of blatantly misrepresenting conservatives. Let me tell you, she makes a pretty good point. Flint observes in the first episode of the documentary, Liberal women appear 28 times, while Labor, Democrat and Greens women appear 66 times. Now, hardly fair. I should add, I was asked to appear, but given I've got a contract here, it wasn't practical. But watching it all now, I feel there was almost no chance I would have got a fair go, would I? I mean, you know that there are no women from the National Party that have appeared. Now, that's strange, considering no Greens or Democrats have been in Cabinet, but there's numerous National Party women who have been Cabinet Ministers in this country. Flint also makes the point former Liberal Prime Ministers Tony Abbott and John Howard were singled out for criticism, including a description of Abbott as a misogynist by former Cabinet Minister Amanda Vance. Now, no surprises there, but hardly fair again either. I mean, how can Abbott be a misogynist when he had someone like me as his Chief of Staff and more women than men in his office? On merit, I might add. No quotas needed for the Abbott office. Now, when Nicole Flint speaks on this issue, I think the media needs to listen. She's had to put up with some of the worst kinds of harassment and intimidation at the hands of GetUp and others at the last election and vile online abuse from the likes of former Fairfax journalist Mike Carlton. Yet she's kept campaigning fearlessly for better representation of women in the Liberal Party and a better deal for all women in political life. So particularly disappointing, I reckon, to see Channel 10's Lisa Wilkinson accuse Flint of enabling after Flint called her out for failing to condemn Mike Carlton. I want to make one very important point. Flint hasn't just seen a problem and flapped her jaws about it. She's experienced the worst of it herself and she's actually done something about it.